Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode on biology. And we are strolling, we are continuing our discussion on uh, the kingdom of what of animals, or the animal world kingdom. All right. And of course, uh, today we are looking at the platyhemitis. All right. So we are going to look at the platyhemitis today and then we we'll take questions, of course, from the old 3 school jam app. Do not forget this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the one and only old 3 schools jam app. All right. So uh, the app. It's all you need to succeed in your exam. It has all the past questions you could ever imagine from jam. And then, of course, some unique features that are designed to make you practice because it's a CBT app and your exam is a CBT exam. So that's why you do not need to joke for any reason, right? Do not to have that app on your phone. So go to Play Store and download that app. Some features in the app include, of course, the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes according to the jam syllabus and take tests on them. Question search feature where you can search for questions according to topics and see the question that Jam has set under a particular topic. Wonderful. Then we have the UTME challenge where you can compete with your mates every week till one week to the main exam. Every week, Saturday by 10 a.m., there's a challenge that you want to compete. You win prizes, you get used to how Jam set their question, you, you see your results released every week. So you can be able to, to, to gauge how prepared you are and then of course, wonderfully, you are building your confidence towards the main exam. So you do not want to play with the application. You do not want to play with the application. Activation for the app is just 3,000 Naira. As at the time of talking to you right now, it will increase in the future. So that I do not watch this video in 20, in 21, uh, 2000 or 2200 and say that what ah, is 3,000. It will increase. So what you should focus on is passing your exam at once. All right. So after downloading the app from Play Store, click on Activate. And at the top, you'll see where the road buy activation key. Click on it, and then you'll see three options for payment. You can pay using your ATM card. Using that payment mode will automatically activate your app. All right, but if you are making transfer to the O2D Schools app account, make sure you send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp 0912151524. Four, six. All right. Just send the receipt to this to that number on WhatsApp. Also, the app is available for your for your computers, for your laptops. All right. The software is available in case you want to get it. All right. For what? For the software version, just send a message to that number to request for the link. Just say, sir, I want the link to what? Get what the PC app or to get what the app for my computer. And we'll send you the link and you activate. All right. So that is that. Now let's go to the file. Uh, uh, to the phylum platyhemitis, all right. So now, platyhemitis, like I told you, they are called flatworms, all right. There are over 13,000 species of platyhemitis, over 13,000 species of platyhemitis, what in existence, okay. So, platyhemitis consists of flatworms, such as the planarians, the planarians, then we have what the liver fluke, which is also called the fasciolia, okay. You have heard of the popular fasciolysis. Fasciolysis, F E S C I O L I A S I S. This is a very, very famous infectious disease. Okay, fasciolysis. All right, so uh, these are examples of what of platyhemitis, and of course, tapeworm. Tapeworm is also what a good example. So, platyhemitis consists of flatworms, such as what the planarians, the liver fluke, or the fasciola, and of course, the tapeworm. So we are going to look at the characteristics now, all right? So please do not forget to like this video. Liking this video will make other students find this video. And it is helpful to you, that means it's going to be helpful to them, all right? So do not forget to also subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free. Just click on that red subscribe button below this video if you have not done that before. And then you are subscribed so that whenever we release a new video, you'll get a notification that we have, all right? Then do not forget to share, of course. Do not be stingy, all right? So now, let's see the characteristics of platyhemitis. One, they are acylomates, all right? Like I've told you before, acylomates are organisms that do not have body cavity. They do not have what? Body cavity, all right? Then, of course, they are acylomates. Then they are bilaterally symmetrical, all right? They are bilaterally what? Symmetrical. That means what their body can be, what, can be cut into what? In only one plane, into what? Two identical what? Halves. So they are what? Bilater bilaterally was symmetrical, bilaterally symmetrical. All right, then they are tripoblastic with three cell or gem layers. They are tripoblastic with what? With three cell layer. They have what three different what, cell layer. They are one of the simplest multicellular organisms with what? With three cell, three different what, cell layers. All right, so they are triplo, triploblastic, triploblastic. All right, so now then their body is soft. Tape one, I've seen one before, and I've seen flat one before, and I've seen tape one before. Yeah, the body is soft, 
soft die so and unsegmented their body is not was segmented it's not broken down into segments okay soft body and unsegmented then they are hermaphrodites that means they have both the male and the female sex organs they are hermaphrodites they have the male and the female with sex organs all right then of course Digestive system is absent or incomplete. The digestive system in what in platyhemitis is what absent or incomplete. No, they do. They, in fact, the, the anus is absent. They no genyash. Okay, the anus is what is absent in what in platyhemitis. They no genyash. No get what you want tell me. All right. So there is a bit an organ system grade of what of organization. They what is a bit an organ system grade. Of what of organization whereby what two or more organs what combine to perform a specific function, all right? Those are the kind of things what they do. In fact, they only have what they do not have what Anu said, like I said, they only have what one opening, like what they only have what the gut, okay? And this pharyngeal, uh, this pharyngeal what tissue is what what where they were they also were where they feed and what and excrete, all right? So uh, there's a bit an organ system grade of organization that means what two or more organs what. Combine what to perform a specific function. Okay, so platyhemitis can reproduce both sexually and asexually. So they can reproduce both sexually and what and asexually. And sometimes, due to the what lack of what mating partners, okay, platyhemitis, what they do is that what they stab themselves in the head and inject sperm into it. All right, so because they do not have mating what uh, partners or because they do not see mating opportunities, they are hermaphrodites, like I've said. So, what they do is what they just stab themselves, they stab themselves in the head and inject sperm into it. All right, so they use that word, their penile appendage. You see, they use their penile appendage to stab themselves in the head and what and um, reprodu- and inject sperm for the or for the production. So, platyhemitis can reproduce both sexually and asexually. And classes of platyhemitis include well, the turbellaria. Okay, the turbellaria is about free living flatworms. Turbellaria, the free, free living flatworms. We have the trematoda, the flux, the trematoda, that is the flux, and the cystoda. All right, those are what the three were classes of, of, of platyhemitis the turbellaria, the trematoda, and the cystoda. All right, now I'm going to see some, some unique, some unique characteristics of what of the uh. Uh, of platyhemitis. Let's go quickly look at that. Please, if you have not liked this video, like I said, what you are doing is very, very wrong. Just click on that like button. As you are watching this video now, you can click on it. All right. Just click on that like button immediately. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to this channel so that you can get notification for what for any time what we release what a uh, a new video. And do not forget to share. Sharing is lovely, all right. Other students will see it, they will also be happy and succeed. All right, so unique, some unique characteristics of what of uh of uh, platyhemitis is one presence of what to call flame cells. Okay, flame cell presence of flame cells, they have a flame cells. Okay, these flame cells they are what they are excretory structures. Okay, they are restricted, excretory was structures in what's in platyhemitis. All right, so we know too that they do not have what they do not have anus. All right, so now they, they, they lack anus, and of course, some was even even some digestive what uh, systems are what are we lacking. All right, in them, so presence of what of flame cells, they are special what excretory was structures. All right, then also one of the other unique characteristics what is they have a uh, a ladder like nervous system. Okay, that the, the, the what their nerves are connected to, to the world to the nerves cord. Okay, so we see what they have what a ladder like a ladder like nervous system too. They have what ladder like nervous system. Okay, they have a ladder like nervous system. Also, they have what a parenchyma in their body cavity. Okay, presence of parenchyma. Presence of parenchyma in their body cavity. Okay, then number four. Okay, then number four, self fertilization. I talked about this one just now when I said I was some some of them. Well, what they do is because they, when they because they, they want to what to fertilize, but they don't see partners to do that with. So what they do is that they use their penile appendage, their penile appendage, to to stab themselves in the head. 
okay and then inject sperm into it so they can what they can reproduce so these are what special what uh, uh some of the unique characteristics that what that uh, platinum amethyst will have all right so please take note of them now i'm going to work, go into the app and we'll quickly answer one or two questions and we'll be done with this class so please make sure you download the auto school jump app and make sure you activate it so that i can have full access to all the questions on the app now let's see this is a 2020 question number 25. A 2020 question number 25. They say, which of the following structures functions as an excretory system found in flat worm? Which of the following structures functions as an excretory system found in flat worm? A, they said contractile vacuum. We didn't talk about contractile vacuum throughout for this class, all right? So B, nephridium. Neither do we talk about nephridium. Then C, flame cell. Okay, then say the D, uh, malfigian tubule, all right? And right, the correct answer there is what is flame cell. I'm gonna tell you what they have some unique characteristics, such as the presence of flame cell, which are what special but excretory structures. They are excretory, these flame cells are what? They are excretory structures. All right, so that would be the correct answer. All right, so there are so many, there are thousands of other questions on the application. So please go ahead, download, and go ahead, activate. Do not fear anything. Activate, and of course, start studying today. And I'll see you at the top. In next class, we'll look at the next words, Phylum in the Animal Kingdom. Thank you for watching.